people who would believe that he was not. And uh, we are, have made already one call to EMI in London, which is the uh, prime releasing agent of uh, the Beatles recordings. And uh, we are now on the line to Apple, and we are awaiting... All right. Uh, hello, who am I speaking to? Yes, uh, we can barely hear you. If you could speak up a little bit, we'd appreciate it. Yeah. We have had rumors uh, flying about the United States tonight on all, all fronts, on both coasts and all over the country, that Paul McCartney is not alive and has not been for the last two years based on songs, you know, the lyrics, album covers and so on. Have you got the, gotten these rumors there? Well, we've got these rumors coming into the United States and they're absolute rubbish. They're completely untrue. Paul McCartney is alive and well. Mm -hmm. And you have seen him in the last few days. Yes, we have. And he is uh, he is well and fine. Because the ba basic thing we want to do tonight is to prove that he is, and to try and squelch such rumors. Uh, is there any chance that in the next few days he might make some kind of a statement so that uh, it will be proven to all these people who are now going to say, well, Apple is trying to cover the whole thing up? Well, this I couldn't say. I'm afraid. Uh huh. It's up to him when he makes statements, but all I can say is that Paul McCartney is alive and well. We've had hundreds of calls in connection with this, and it's rubbish. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was Apple in London on Seville Road. That is the record company owned by the Beatles. In her words, I don't know if you could hear them that well, it is absolute rubbish. He is alive. And they've been getting hundreds of calls from the United States, and they're surprised that it just blossomed like that. We're trying for a few other people. I mean, we got to prove it. We're going to prove it tonight. The only way we could really prove it is we get a hold of Paul. We might try and, and line that up maybe for tomorrow night if we can throughout the day. We tried to call Vital Statistics in London to see if uh, they have a recorded death of a Paul McCartney. And would you believe it? Uh, the phone is dead at Vital Statistics. Good morning. Hello. Yes. Uh... I have here uh, the book by the Beatles, the authorized biography by Hunter Davies. Yes. And uh, it has some interesting quotes in their chapter called The Beatles and Their Music. And it's uh, from John Lennon. Mm -hmm. And it says, it's nice when people like it, he's talking about his music, but when they start appreciating it, getting great deep things out of it, making a thing out of it, then it's a lot of crap. Mm -hmm. It proves that we've also thought about most sorts of so-called art, it's all out of crap. He goes on to say that uh, none of it is important. It just takes a few people to get things going, and they con themselves into thinking it's important. And he says it's all a big con. So he says we're a con as well. We know we're conning them because we know people want to be conned. They've given us the freedom to con them. There's a very interesting line now. Let's stick that in there, we say. That'll stop them puzzling. He says, I'm sure all artists do it. And uh, when they realize it's a con. Now, you know, everybody in London is saying, you know, all the sources, McCartney's alive. Everybody in America is getting great things out of their records. They're there. You know, there's no denying that. Uh, you, you know, like, it's not a coincidence when you play, you know, records at higher speeds and tapes back that you find these things and Paul is dead. But uh, with the Beatles and a perverted sort of uh, humor, are they like, are they putting on the world? Why? You know? Why? Why not? That might be a better question. I mean, if you had the kind of popularity the Beatles did, and people were all constantly looking at your lyrics, and you figured, hey, but let's just throw out little puzzlers for them so they can have fun with them. That's right. You would do this. Um, another artist who does this is Bob Dylan. That's true. You go back to the song Subterranean Homesick Blues. There are lines in there that make absolutely no sense at all. And yet people are getting very deep things out of them. Right. Trying to. And I've found that, for instance, if I write a piece of poetry, if I write something very straightforward that says something to you, like... Uh, I fell in love with so-and-so, and she was a beautiful girl, and so-and-so on. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But now, if I throw something at you like uh, the aphrodisiac of Venus came down and uh, blah, 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 and gave you a bunch of lines that had nothing to do with each other, 
what will we come up with? You probably say, hey, that's really something, man. Maybe another one. Because you interpret it. It's like a, a poetic Rorschach. You... Well, that's what poetry is all about a lot right. of times. <laughs> But it's hard to understand why they would talk about Paul. Uh, well, Marshall McLuhan says art is anything you can get away with. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Sure. Bye-bye. On the line, we have somebody who says he was with Paul McCartney for a few days. Hello, Alex. Yeah. I'm with her. We spoke to you before. I told you to call Vera in London. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Um, I thought that you might be interested in seeing something. I have a picture that I took uh, with Paul four days ago in front of a stand... Uh, of the London uh, Herald, and um, it shows the headline for the current, um, you know, a current headline, mm -hmm. uh, which would prove the date, and um, it's got a picture of me with him and the background in back of it, so you might be interested, I might be able to get it over to you shortly, not tonight, but uh, within the next couple of days. Yeah, if you could do that, just so that we could prove it to our audience. I believe you, and, yeah, I, uh, but uh, just to verify it. Yeah, uh, another thing is that uh, if you want to bear it out any further, um, I don't know if you want to <laughs> shut it off so the audience can't hear, but I can give you another name that you could call. I already gave you Vera Sam uh, Ian. Right, we talked to her earlier. Yeah, I could give you another one. Uh, you said that you spoke to the Stones earlier tonight. Let's talk to their the the uh, their uh, their man road manager out there, the guy that's touring them through the country. Oh, oh, well, the, uh, I don't. Well, I know I have a friend who's um, currently director of A and R up at uh, Apple here in New York, mm -hmm. and uh, I know he's out there with them now. Mm -hmm. And uh, he also knows a, a good deal about uh, Paul. And if you want to... Yeah. Okay. Why don't you stay on the line? I have my producer get the name for him. Okay. okay. Good morning. Yes. Uh, I feel like when they're talking about that Paul is dead, mm -hmm. well, uh, when they say that, they may, they may mean that he's dead in mind, but not in body. This is a theory that has come to bear. There are now three theories. One, that he's dead. Two, that he is dead in spirit. And three, that he is dying of a terminal disease. Oh, there's always the fourth possibility that there's nothing wrong with him and he's all right and going to live for a long time. Right. Of course, I don't know if he will if he doesn't quit smoking. But <laughs> Well, this is not very. I feel that, you know, maybe he did something, you understand? And they say, well, we're going to say that he's dead. You understand? Like, he might be using drugs or something you understand and when a person uses drugs it's just like they did so maybe this is what they mean and they're trying to bring it to his attention by calling him dead okay thank you for your call thank you bye-bye bye-bye pl9 1000 is our number good morning good morning yes Alex? yes johnny thunder here how are you i just johnny thunder yes who's johnny thunder <laughs> well i'm an entertainer oh i'm fred fury how are you oh hi fred yeah <laughs> Go on. I just released, uh, I mean, I just came back from England in August. Yeah. And some, uh, I, I didn't know about this rumor. And I know the Beatles very well. Mm -hmm. And my, I, it, it seems strange to me. I'm being, listening to all these things. It's just got me all confused. Because it's the same Paul McCartney that I met in 64 in 63, mm -hmm. even before he became popular. It seemed to be the very, very same guys that I talked to in August. Now, all of these things seem to point out that he may be dead or uh, some, in some way uh, incapacitated, but we talked about uh, many things that only a Paul McCartney would know. In other words, things that you and he had experienced that no one else had. Right. For instance, like he, he, liked, to, he liked to play bass and shoot pool and things like this. And he always, always talked about shooting. Now, this is one peculiarity that I thought about after uh, coming back that he never mentioned it at this time. But I just assumed that uh, in as much as I hadn't seen him for quite some time, that the guy had just become very, very extremely wealthy and, uh, you know, had uh, taken up other habits. And uh, this was just my theory. But now hearing all these things and putting them together, I had never heard this rumor before tonight, listening to you. See, some guy walked up to me on stage the other night and said, uh, how did Jimi Hendrix die or get killed? And I never heard that before. 
you know. No, but I hear Jimi Hendrix is 45 years old. See, that's, that's, right. a, that's a rumor about Jimi. Well, but the, the thing I'm trying to get around to is I didn't notice anything peculiar at all. Of course, I, I wasn't listening to anything. But uh, he would have to be extremely, extremely well-versed by the Beatles or somebody. I would say the Beatles because at that time, John was not there. Uh, I only saw Ringo and uh, Paul. Mm. But I did talk to Paul, and we had many, many, uh, you know, things that I couldn't possibly tell you about on the air. These things that we went through with Hermits, Hermits, and uh, yeah. Mick Jagger, and, the, you know, the Stones, and things like that. But uh, Between, that, that he and you would only know about, and it wouldn't matter to anybody else, to, right. that you recalled and he recalled. Right. I don't know if you remember, say, a couple couple months ago, I had a record called I'm Alive, did by Tony James and the Shondells. Yeah. Now, this uh, thing was called, brought to my attention by some of the people that I had come in contact with, and I had no, no intentions. I mean, I didn't even know about uh, this room, as I told you before. Yeah. When Paul said to me, uh, he didn't mention anything at all about the pool, this thought came back to me just a few minutes ago. And wow, I said, maybe I'll give him a call and uh, interject my little bit there and see what, uh, what you think about it, because it did give me uh, something to think about. But uh, then... I, if, like I said before, if it wasn't the same guy, I was uh, tremendously fooled because we talked about so many things that nobody else would know about. So you're sure he's alive? I'm just uh, 99 and not, well, 100% positive. I just saw him just, hey, well, it was August. I was there from August 1st to August 15th. I came back here on my uh -huh. birthday. Well, I thank you for calling us, Johnny. We really appreciate it. Well, that's it. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> when you see Paul next, uh, Tell him he's dead. <laughs> That's wild, man. You know, but what can I tell you? You, you know, people have their... Uh, and, and I must admit, too, that hearing these things, you know, all of us about the... And looking at the albums and all these things, because, you know, there are certain evidences and they could be putting the world on. Who knows? But, uh, you know, who knows? It's going to sell three million records, even if, if it's a put on. It's going to, you know, it's going to work. Right. <laughs> you know? Thank you for calling, okay, Johnny. Bye-bye. Uh, Johnny Thunder. <laughs> Oh. England so far and all the calls we've made is denying the rumor and of course we've had a lot of people who have seen Paul McCartney alive and well